Steven Slater. He, of course, is the JetBlue flight attendant who became a folk hero this week as word spread of his unorthodox departure from a plane on Monday. He now says he wants to fly again. This morning, though, police are questioning his version of the story. CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy is outside Slater's home in Queens, New York this morning with the latest boy, New Day, New Details, Ben. That sure is true, Erica. You know, Slater's house here in New York has been surrounded by media this week after he basically told a plane full of passengers that he's mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. But now those passengers and even the police are saying his story just doesn't hold up. It's been amazing, the support and the love and the, the everything that's been brought to me and given to me by my community and my friends and the <laughs> industry at large. And that was about all Stephen Slater had to say on Thursday. His attorney did most of the talking, saying that Slater's meltdown Monday began when he got his head nicked as two passengers tried to shove their bags into the overhead bin before takeoff. With great difficulty, they were shoving the bags around, attempting to get it in. I think Stephen came over to assist and either the bag or the overhang hit him in the head. But Port Authority police say that may not be true. Today's Wall Street Journal reports none of the passengers interviewed told police they witnessed Slater being injured. Quote, I think this is moving toward a working theory of it never happened. There are some people who have said he came on board the aircraft with injuries. And police who took Slater into custody told the journal that at the time of his arrest, his eyes were bloodshot, he smelled of alcohol, and he was unsteady on his feet. And now more passengers are coming forward saying Slater's story isn't true. Lauren Woods says he was more zero than hero. He was very rude to everyone throughout the entire flight. I feel like, yeah, we all have our moments where we're pushed to the limits, but there's there's a line that he crossed. I don't think this man should be called a hero at all. Slater's attorney was asked to respond to some of these charges. I can't answer for the intent or minds of those people you spoke to. This whole episode may have made Slater a working class hero, someone who tapped into people's frustrations with their jobs in a time of seemingly endless cutbacks. But some say it's really a cautionary tale. This guy reminds me of uh, if Mel Gibson were the one monitoring your uh, flight. Um, uh, who knows? What if the next time this guy, uh, you know, goes off and loses his cool, he decides to open the emergency exit while the plane's still in the air? Now, for their part, JetBlue has suspended Slater while they investigate this incident. He says he wants to fly again, but no word yet as to whether or not the airline will be opening the airplane door to him anytime soon. <laughs> Erica. Ben, thanks. CBS has been Tracy in Queens.